Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another monthly update. We are going to dive on in and take a look and see what messages are coming through for you or what it is exactly that you need to know in the month of June of 2021. Do take note Pisces, this read is for entertainment purposes only, so take the parts that speak for you and leave what doesn't. And if you do enjoy this reading, feel free to let me know by liking, sharing and or subscribing here today. And a big shout out and thank you to each and every one of you who continue to show up and support the channel in any way you do. Thank you. I adore you and I appreciate you. Okay, Pisces, as you can see in front of you, we've already got five cards already laid out. We will deep dive into those in a moment, but I do want to let you know to stick around towards the end because I will be drawing extra Oracle cards from some Oracle decks that I have here ready to go. Um, so if you want to know what else is coming through, stick around for those messages. But for now, let me introduce to you um, the five cards that are coming through. You've got the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, yep, the Moon and the Six of Swords. Okay, so the signs of the people or the persons you could be dealing with in June with the Queen of Swords, there's air energy here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me adjust this camera. Uh, with the Nine of Cups could be water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With the Moon, Cancer or Scorpio here. Um, okay, so there we have that. Let's start with the Queen of Swords. You know, the Queen of Swords, she's looking to the Nine of Cups. So I feel here... The Queen of Swords, she's seeking to understand someone that she has a romantic connection to. So Pisces, if you are in a relationship or if you have a strong emotional tie to someone here, I feel like you're in a position to seek to understand how this person is feeling or what is going on between you and them. Okay, I'm just trying to, let me have a look. Hang on a second. I feel like my camera is blurry, guys. Let me just... Sorry. I hope that's... Um... Hmm. There we go. Sorry, I had to adjust that because I'm like, poor Pisces. They're going to be looking at this bloody reading and it's all blurry. Sorry, guys. I had to do that. All right. So you're seeking to understand someone that you care for very deeply here. Okay, look, the Knight of Cups to me represents a romantic connection. So this is someone that you feel a romantic tie or a romantic bond to. Could also speak to someone that you care for very, very fondly here of. Uh, look, it could be your partner if you are already in a committed relationship. So, but the Queen of Wands, she's, she's trying to understand um, this person. She's trying to understand what's going on here in this connection. So you might be more inclined to ask questions and really listen to what this person has to say. You're also, lo you're also listening to this person's actions. Okay. How is this person treating you? How is this person talking to you, speaking to you. What is this person doing for you? What are they not doing? Okay, so you're really listening to this person's actions as well. The Queen of Swords, she's all about fairness. Okay, she seeks to make things fair and equal. So, I, th I feel like you might be in June giving someone a second chance, Pisces. Okay, you might be saying to yourself, well, you know, I'm going to give this person the benefit of the doubt. I don't like that they did this, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I do give you someone, I do see you giving someone here a second chance. I really, really do. Um... You're going to let them have their say. Um, you're going to give them that second chance. I, I see that here. Now, I feel like with the Ten of 
uh, wands here that this person's going to really, if this is a romantic connection that you have with someone here, I feel like they're really going to have to work for your affections or for your love, for your heart. I do see someone here taking on that responsibility and that accountability, okay? I, I'm sorry, I did this to you, let me make it up to you. So I see someone here wanting to make it up to you and I feel like you will give them that chance. Absolutely, okay? For others of you, you're thinking about entertaining a relationship here with someone that you have a romantic connection to. There's a romantic stirring here. Um, I do see someone offering you um, an opportunity to go out on a date with them. Okay, so for those of you Pisces out there looking for love, I do see someone uh, coming forward here and offering to take you out to a picnic or on a date. I do see a gift coming your way as well. Or maybe you're waiting for this to come towards you. Um, it's kind of like with the Queen of Swords, she's kind of expecting something here from someone and you're expecting this to happen in the upcoming month. Okay. But I do see more romance for you in June, whether you're in a committed relationship or not. I do see more romance on offer here. With the Ten of Wands, this speaks to responsibility, obligations. I do see a lot on your plate in the upcoming month. Um, but I feel like you will stay on top of these tasks or these responsibilities and duties, okay? The Queen of Swords, she's very clear on what it is that she needs to do and she will just get to it. She'll just get to work and she'll just get it done, okay? At times you will feel like uh, the responsibilities are just getting a bit too much, you might feel frustrated with the moon here. Your emotions are building here. So at times you might feel a little bit resentful. Um, or it's just getting too much for you. So pay attention to your emotions because I do feel with the moon and the ten of wands, okay, I don't know, I'm getting that you're drowning in something here. Now, it could be that you've got no problem um, tackling these tasks or undertaking these duties or responsibilities, but I feel like you're drowning here. Okay, there's this sense of you drowning because I'm seeing a woman, she's under the water and it's like she's drowning. Okay, she cannot take a breath. It's just like more gets piled onto, onto your plate. As soon as you finish one thing, another thing comes in, okay? More demands are being placed on top of you, all right? And so what happens is, is in that moment when your mindset game isn't strong and you allow with the moon your fears to come in, guess what happens? The fear will suck you in. It will suck you under, so it really just depends on which way you look at this. Okay. But I do feel like here, if you let your thoughts or your mind um, overtake, I do feel it will impact on your emotions. Okay. You are sensitive Pisces. You are emotional Pisces. Okay, so if you let your thoughts wander off um, to things that encourage those fearful thoughts, it will get to you. I do feel that like at times in the month, um, it will feel challenging. Um, and you will feel emotionally disturbed or unsettled here. But I feel the message here is to stay on top of your thoughts. Okay, stay on top of your thoughts because swords speaks to thoughts and how you think. 
and don't believe everything you think, Pisces, because that will really impact upon you. Okay, and then you will feel like you're drowning. And then you will feel like life is too much and you're feeling overwhelmed emotionally. Okay, but there will also be some things here that you need to release. So if you do feel like the pressure is mounting, the responsibilities, the tasks are mounting here, then it is about releasing some things that are just not priority right now. It's not like you can't come back to them, but just maybe rework your priorities. You've got a personal issue reaches resolution. Beautiful. I like that. Could be with the Cancerian here again, um, but I feel like this is an... Um, this is a matter of love, um, relationship, um, feelings, your emotions here. Someone may, you may need to listen to how someone is feeling. Okay, I feel like you will let someone express how they feel. And I feel like you're doing that because you really want to understand what is going on with this person. Why did they speak that way? Why did they act that way? I need to understand. So I feel like whatever answers you're um, seeking, you will get those answers. They are coming. But with the Queen of Swords, okay, she asks questions so if you want answers to questions if you want answers you need to ask questions sorry okay never ending story this is a thing right um you don't want this issue or this situation to play out again and if it's happened one too many times with the never-ending story, I feel like he, that this is something, it's happened one too many times and I need to put my foot down. And that's the thing, Pisces. Sometimes you can lack boundaries. Okay, you can lack boundaries because you don't want to rock the boat. You just, you, you care too much. But it's like, are you going to put that person's needs above your own? in fear of rocking the boat. Okay, so I do feel like this may be speaking to boundaries. If you don't want something to play out again here, then you're going to have to put your foot down. Yes, it's going to be hard to do, but the Queen of Swords, she detaches from her feelings and she comes from a place of logic. Okay, so I feel like you will need to detach from your emotions and feelings on this one and go with your logic. That could be your fear right there. You've got the L here. The upward pointing triangle does speak to the element um, with the line through it does speak to the element of air. Okay, this is about logic over head over heart. You need to make a head over heart decision here and it's not because you don't care. It's because you care too much and you need to do what is in your best interest at the end of the day. The L is also inquisitive. She seeks to find answers, okay? This is the card of wisdom. Listen to your intuition. This is also the card of perspective. So yes, understanding that person's perspective so it might require you to look at this from a different angle or see it from their perspective so you can understand. Okay. But also listen to your intuition above all. You've got the mouse energy coming through here. The downward pointing triangle with the line through it does speak to the element of earth. This could be someone that you live with or work with. Okay, um, but the mouse does speak to hard work. Okay, um, so I feel like there's a lot of work or hard work up ahead for you. Um, but I'm also getting here with the mouse is not to sweat the small stuff. 
don't sweat the small things. Uh, you could be making mountains out of mole hills here due to this moon card. Okay, because if you when your emotions get to you, like they're they're you're ruled by your emotions. So you could be making mountains out of mole hills for that very reason. That you know, you're ruled by your emotions. You let your emotions lead. Um are you taking responsibility for your emotions? Are you taking responsibility for how you leave? Are you sweating the small things? The mouse can speak to nitpicking, but it can also speak to when these two cards touch each other. I feel like this is about critical thinking or critical analysis, critical analyzing, uh, critiquing something here. I'm also seeing the mouse energy as... Um, how do I want to communicate this, Pisces? It's like, be sure to, um, I don't know how to express it, but it's like, make, be sure to cross your T's and dot your I's, okay? Um, read the fine print on things. Make sure you look through things very thoroughly because there may be something that you're overlooking here with the moon card. Okay, there may be something that you cannot see that's hidden from you. These two cards here is saying to make sure you, you look through the finer print. Read all the details. Ask all the questions. Okay, gather your facts. Gather your figures. Um, detail, detail, detail. Because I feel like there's something here that you may oversee or overlook here and it may cause problems or implications further down the track. Okay. So there we have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this read. Until next time, take care.